Hi everyone, and thanks for the opportunity to present the work that was done by the Legume Phylogeny Group's Taxonomy Working Group over the past year and few months. I will explain the structure of the working group, how the actual work was done, and what we have published to date. Towards the end of my talk, I will highlight the impact of our work in an ongoing case study by GBIF. Names are central to scientific communication, linking data between research projects or allowing data flow from published research into online platforms or allowing communication among online data platforms. Names can be confusing because some scenarios cause multiple names to exist for a single taxon, for example in the case of a widely distributed species or a taxon with high morphological variability. In other cases, a single name may be applied to multiple taxa. Continually changing taxonomies are also problematic. All of these scenarios complicate linking data and therefore a curated up-to-date species list for the legumes is important to support our own research, in particular the collaborative work that the LPWG is planning around traits, occurrences and phylogenomics, but also to allow other scientists to answer applied research questions more easily. The International Legume Database and Information Service, or ILDIS, was an important online data source of legume information. However, this source hasn't been curated for more than 20 years and is now out of date. In 2019, Anne Bruno and colleagues published a paper outlining the need for an up-to-date new online species information system after some discussion in May 2020 on how this can be achieved, the Legume Phylogeny Working Group established five working groups to address and generate the content for this site. The Taxonomy Working Group was one of the five working groups established. We were tasked with creating an up-to-date community-endorsed checklist for all legumes. In order to achieve this, we had to find a starting list of names that was least out of date. We identified the world checklist of vascular plants and from here on referred to as WCVP as a good starting list and a collaboration with the Royal Botanic Gardens Q was set up, working with Raphael Govitz as the editor. We then had to find volunteers of taxon experts to help check names. Any interested expert could join the group. We had an interim list published in February this year and the official version was published in June. The taxonomy working group also established an arbitration committee to deal with conflicting taxonomies if and when they arise. The structure of the group includes an overall coordinator, subfamily and tribe coordinators, and ultimately the contributors or taxon experts. Corrections and verifications to the lists of names are annotated by the contributors and collected by the coordinators who then submit consolidated information to the editor for incorporation into the WCVP database. Here I want to show the list of names the contributors checked the list is rather extensive with 18 fields of data, including a comments field where corrections are noted and a field to list the name of the person who verifies the record. This slide is a summary of the overall workflow we followed to publish the legume checklist. The brown orange block on the left is cross cutting between the taxonomy working group and Q and refers to the process that I have just explained on the previous slide. The green block is mainly the responsibility of the taxonomy working group. The blue block is taken care of by Q and the red block is taken care of by GBIF. Focusing on the blue block, 
Names in the WCVP database are cross-referenced with names in IPNI. Information in WCVP is disseminated through multiple platforms and at different time intervals. The legumes do not form part of the world checklist of selected plant families, but it forms part of the WCVP download that is published three monthly and is available on the WCVP um, website. However, the WCVP database includes more data than what is disseminated on the WCVP download, and therefore, Q generated a Darwin Core archive for the legume checklist. This was given to GBIF to upload onto the Catalog of Life's checklist bank, and it also feeds into the GBIF taxonomy backbone and into the GBIF legume data portal. In total, 80 contributors and one editor worked together to create the first WCVP for basic checklist. The latest version of the legume checklist will always be available at the, at the link shown here, which is on the Catalog of Life's checklist bank. To date, the taxonomy working group has checked about 43% of all accepted legume genera. The subfamily Sachidoidae and the Aliwoidae are complete, with 87% of the Dittarioidae and several of the tribes in the large subfamily Papilinoidae also complete. The starting checklist had close to 86,000 names and 2,011 names were added. The graph on the right gives a percentage breakdown of the names from generic rank and lower that form part of the checklist. In total, 6,167 corrections were incorporated into the checklist. GBIF recently launched the online hosted portals. All of these portals focus on serving data for regions across the world except for the legume data portal, which focuses on a specific taxonomic group. The WCVP for basic checklist on the Catalog of Life's checklist bank directly feeds into the legume data portal and is also searchable here. GBIF wants to try and quantify the impact and importance of taxonomists in biodiversity data. They have taken a snapshot of the GBIF legume backbone before the February interim checklist was incorporated. And, in, and after incorporation, another snapshot was taken. A total of 22,110 names were unmatched prior to the legume update. And this number was reduced to 13,579 after the February update. Therefore, 38% of the unmatched names in the GBIF backbone was cleaned and correctly linked through this legume community effort, showing the important role of taxon experts. We will repeat this process in late October to continue measuring the impact. Hopefully, after several iterations of back and forth name checking, the legume checklist and the, B and the GBIF legume checklist will start to converge. The Taxonomy Working Group is now also the official taxon expert network for World Flora Online, and our checklist will soon be incorporated into the World Flora Online backbone. There is still a large amount of work left to do, and the listed subfamilies and tribes on this slide still need checking. Thank you for your attention.